I'm Andrew Start, and I'm from Spokane, Washington. Uh, Spokane is sort of the big city, small town of Washington State. So it definitely has a small town mentality. So growing up gay in Spokane, there's not a lot of outlets. Um, you don't see it really reflected in the culture anywhere. And as a kid, I, you know, my interests were really just into musical theater. I think like a lot of gay youth. So I auditioned for a show at the local civic theater called Me and My Girl. It was a tap show. Um, and I got cast. And I met this woman in the production uh, who had done several shows with the civic theater. And for some reason, when I was auditioning, she just instantly was drawn to me. And from the first day of rehearsal, she sort of approached me um, and befriended me. And I. And she was older, she was 20 years old, and I was 15, uh, and just started cultivating this friendship. And I don't know if she was trying to, to mother me or protect me, but like looking back on it now, I get that sense. Um, so we became fast friends, and we started hanging out every night after rehearsal. Her car, she taught me to drive. <laughs> we, start, we started smoking cigarettes and doing all kinds of things that, you know, like, were kind of above the age that I should have, you know, been partaking in. And like sort of inch by inch, we started a sexual relationship together. It was kind of just like an awkward sexual friendship for a really long time. And then about a year later, I sort of said, you know, I'm finished with this. I think that I'm gay and, you know, I've explored this enough and I, I want to I want to see if there's any, anything to find you know, amongst the guys, high school guys that were in my community now. And now I was more ingrained in the theater community and was meeting a lot you know, more, at least curious youth my age, you know, like 16 yeah. or 17 years old. And so we sort of split up and, and I thought it was over and I, was, I had started actually like seeing a boy that I met in the community. And I got a phone call at home one day and she was crying and very upset. And, you know, I didn't understand. I said, you know, I don't, I don't really want to talk. You know, I think this is over. You know, can we, can we just let some time pass and, and then talk about it? She said, no, that's not, that's not what's going on. She said, I went to the hospital today and I'm pregnant. Wow. And I, I just tried to, like, recall how that could happen because we'd always been safe, um, except for once. and we conceived a child.